And for the final news story of today, let's talk about the god emperor himself, Donald Trump. Where has he been? He's been kicked off Twitter and, you know, the world is slightly less interesting without him in it. Let's find out. Well, he claims he does not miss Twitter whatsoever because his press releases are a far more elegant way to get his message out to those who want to hear it. Because he wasn't shy to say that when he started on Twitter a few years ago, it was like a failed concept anyway, but it became a lot more exciting because of him. Now, as someone who spends quite a bit of time on Twitter, it is far more boring without him on it. I wish they wouldn't permanently ban him, like ban him a little bit, but not forever, please. We need a bit of excitement in our lives, and Donald Trump is all excitement. But unfortunately, he's banned absolutely everywhere. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Yeah, Joe Biden just doesn't cut it for me. He's just boring. Like, no one cares about Joe Biden. People cared about Donald Trump. It was a much more exciting time in our lives when he was around to spout the nonsense and to really, really, really irritate those who dislike us in the first place. But not to worry, you can still get your daily dose of Donald Trump if you go to his email list, where he sends out a short email that is under 280 characters, i.e. the length of a tweet. And this is my favorite one, where he says, I hope everyone remembers when they're getting the COVID-19, often referred to as the China virus vaccine, that if I wasn't president, you wouldn't be getting that beautiful shot for five years at best, and probably wouldn't be getting it at all. I hope everyone remembers. Uh, reading that just makes me miss him even more. Not because I like him or I support him overtly, just because he's fun. And, you know, we need a bit of fun in our lives. Politicians, politics, it's all boring stuff. Donald Trump was anything but boring. But as for what Trump is actually planning to do, well, apparently he wants to launch his own social media platform. I don't know if this is really necessary. I mean, Donald Trump has put his name on everything. Ties, stakes, casinos, clothing, or wigs. Well, okay, I don't know about wigs. But he would put his name on a wig if you invited him to. So who knows if his social media platform will actually materialize in a material way. I don't think we need more social media platforms, if I'm honest with you. But at least he's doing something. So if you wanted to know, well, there you go.